Folks, hello and welcome to Tap and Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. And what is the latest stupid news coming from Hasbro Watsi? Well, Hasbro removes artist's signature from the D&D movie poster. Not just any artist, by the way. Jeff Easley, one of the most famous D&D artists. Famous fantasy and Dungeons and Dragons artist Jeff Easley painted the promotional mini poster given out at early screenings of the Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie. Not given out at my early screening, I'll tell you that much. I would have, I would have loved it. It's a beautiful piece of work. Um, finally scored a copy of the giveaway print. They took my signature off the painting. Over a month after the giveaway was made available to fans, the artist obtained a copy of the mini poster. He now, now this is really stupid, right? You do something, usually as, the, as the, an artist or a writer, you get like a an artist copy, a writer copy. No, but he obtained his copy a month after the giveaway was made available to fans. He know that Hasbro erased his signature from the print. And there's an update here: Paramount Pictures. Handled the distribution for D&D, Honor Among Thieves, Paramount, or their marketing partners may have directed the removal of Jeff, Jeff Easley's signature. If so, the erasure is not specifically attributable to Hasbro, but instead, this came from their partner in the D&D movie. Well, if it wasn't Hasbro, it could have been Paramount, or it could have been, what was it, like 1E1? That was part of Hasbro, too. In any case, on April 28th, Jeff wrote in the Fans of the Art of Jeff Easley Facebook group that he acquired a copy of the print that was first released on March 29th. He did not call out the delay in obtaining a copy of his work. Instead, the artist revealed that the printed version of his painting had been edited to remove his stylized signature. Jeff Easley's Honor Among Thieves poster, along with the D20 popcorn bucket, from AMC theaters are among the best souvenirs associated with the movie. Taking the artist's name off of the finished product robs him of the customary credit he deserves as the author of his work, which might be apropos for a movie that has thieves written into the title. This, by the way, is a geek native. I'll give you a link to the article. Cropping an artist's signature out of illustration can occur when the original image meets the layout artist. That is true. However, that's not what happened here. Every artist working in publishing knows that cropping where the image is trimmed can occur. In this instance, Easley's signature was not cropped off but digitally removed. And the residue of the erasure is still visible beneath where the E in Easley originally resided. Likely done by Hasbro or E1, the production company that filmed the D&D film, this change was an unexpected and arguably needless alteration of the original work. And on the right here, you can see where Jeff's signature is. On the left, you can see there is no signature. Um, not only that, I'm going to have to say that it looks like the original had a, I don't know, better DPI, certainly. So, in this case, Removing Jeff Easley's mark contrasts with the signature policy of some of Hasbro subsidiaries, which is of the coast. Hasbro subsidiary that Dungeons and Dragons RPG, as well as Magic the Gathering, are published by, does not remove artist signatures from the artwork that they source. Hmm. Uh, in fact, Jeff's provided, Jeff provided artwork for the 2021 Magic the Gathering core set. Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, as well as other card art over the years. His signature was left intact unless cropping was required. His work for the Den of the Bugbear dungeon module version, Magic the Gathering card, actually sorry, clearly shows his signature. And Magic the Gathering goes further in celebrating the artist by listing their name on the bottom of each card. It is notable that Wizards of the Coast standards Standard Magic Gathering art policy clashes with Hasbro or E1's handling of this promotional poster. This incident may be attributed to a difference of policies within different arms of Hasbro's corporate empire. 
And there were, now this is an interesting paragraph, and it's true. At other times, this may have flown under the radar were it not for Hasbro's recent history of troubling public incidents, like, I don't know, sending the Pinkertons to a fan's home, the OGL bullshit, Bank of America scrutiny over their Magic the Gathering prices, and other, saying heavy-handed decisions, other decisions to step on their own member. Needlessly erasing Jeff's signature, yet another incident to add to Hasbro's list of ill-advised decisions thus far in 2023. So, Jeff took it well. That's good. Um, again, and as the article points this out, if it wasn't for the fact that Wizards has this horrible habit currently of doing stupid ass shit, self-inflicted wounds. Why? Why? You, you, at some point, you figure you, you got to stop the bleeding. They haven't stopped the bleeding. It continues. So, folks, on that note, as always, like, subscribe, helps the channel, helps me. I appreciate it. But beyond that, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice, roll them well. I will be uh, back with another video tomorrow. Wednesday is a live stream. We will have Jeff Jones and a further guest on for the talking crit. And of course, we will have to do this week in Watsy Stupid. It used to be in Gaming Stupid, but Watsy is like, hold my beer. I got it. Don't anybody else worry. We can... We have to keep the trophy. It's got to be ours. All right, folks. God bless. I'll catch you all later.